Hello and welcome to Learn to Drive the Easy Way. I'm approved driving instructor Michael Gambin and I'm going to show you how to drive manual, automatic and cars fitted with disability controls in the easiest way possible. So sit back, relax and enjoy. And remember to hit the subscribe button underneath to see all of our videos. Okay, so what we're going to talk about now is how to turn left out of a road, also known as an emerge. Now, the routine that we use for turns is MSPSL, which stands for mirrors, signal, position, speed, and look. And we use that routine whenever we turn, whether we're turning left or right, in or out of roads, and at roundabouts, as well as crossroads. We even use it for overtaking. So it's a commonly used routine that you want to remember. So the first thing is to identify how we're coming out of a road, whether it's a give way line or a stop line. And we can tell that by the road markings and the signs. Now, if there is a give way line, there'll be a road marking and a sign that looks like this. And if it's a stop line, you'll have a road marking and sign that looks like this. Notice that the give way sign and the stop sign are both independently shaped. So the give way sign is an upside down triangle and the stop sign is an octagonal sign. And the reason for that is if they get covered in snow, you can still tell what type of junction that it is. Now with a give way line, you do not have to come to a complete stop. You can keep the car moving and it's actually preferred to because if there are vehicles coming and you can't see properly because of say parked cars, by keeping the car in motion, you'll get to a point where you can see and that will make it safer to know whether you can commit or not. Whereas with a stop line, you must come to a complete and utter stop. If you don't on your test, it's an automatic fail and if a police officer sees you, it's also points and a fine as a result of not abiding to road regulations. So the first thing that we're going to do is check our mirrors. Now we're going to check our rear view mirror first and the side we're moving towards. And the reason for that is if we can see that there are anyone behind that is close or there is someone that's going to go past you on the side you're moving towards, you can now do your signal earlier than normal. Now the normal distance for a signal is the speed limit of the road converted into meters. So the speed limit here is 30. So we would therefore indicate 30 meters before the junction. It doesn't have to be exact, but there or thereabouts. But if there is, like we said, somebody close behind you or someone that's gonna go past you on the left, we then signal earlier than that to give them more time, more knowledge. Once we've done that signal, the next thing we do is our position. Now for a left turn, if there's only one lane on the approach, you want to be pretty central to the lane position. We don't want to be right next to the curb as it makes the turn more difficult. What we will then do is slow the car down, which is part of our speed, and we'll do that by applying some brake pressure. Once we've done our brakes, we would then slow the car down to a walking pace for a give way line, okay? And then a crawling pace with about three or four meters to spare. So we are going very, very slow whilst we do our look. Now we're going to look right and left repeatedly until we see that it's safe. If it is safe, we then can proceed. But remember, if it's a stop line, you must stop completely. If it is safe, you would then go. If it's not safe, then you just wait until it is. Remember as well to try to follow the corner. So if you can see that the curb bends quite early on on the approach, turn nice and early as well, because that requires less steering, so that makes it easier to straighten up. Once we're happy it's safe, back onto the pressure on the gas and allow the car to build up its speed again. So what I'm going to show you now is how to do that. Coming out of a road, turning left. So we're going to do our POM routine. So brake on, into drive, seven point check. And then if it's safe, we will then pull away. 
So, the first thing that we're going to do as we come up to this end of the road is our mirror. So I'm checking my rear view, followed by my left mirror. I will then do my signal and apply my brake nice and early, and this will give you more time to make life easier for you. Hands at the top, get in my position, and I'm looking repeatedly. If it's safe, back onto the accelerator, and then off as per usual. So again, going to be coming up to the end of the road here. Again, it's the MSPSL routine. So, first thing is my mirrors, rear view, left mirror, F signal, braking, so our speed. Hands at the top, regaining my position, so getting back onto the left hand side of the road as I do my observations. Now, I can't see too well here because of parked vehicles, so I'm just going to edge the car forward and then I can go back onto the accelerator again. I'm going to do a right turn here. We want, we'll talk about this on another video. And then we'll do two more end of road left turns. So, first thing that we check, mirrors. And you can see I'm already off the accelerator here. Signal and braking, slowing the car right down. Hands at the top, looking already. And again, I have limited visibility on my left this time, so I'm just gonna keep the car tight, edge forward, and you can see I'm just leaning forward as well, just to give myself better visibility as I come out of that junction. If there is any cars coming from here, we would just stop. Mirror, mirror, signal, position. We've seen it safe, back onto the throttle. So, I hope this video has helped you understand what is needed when it comes to turning left out of a road and I look forward to seeing you on the next video which will normally be turning right out of a junction.